Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. As the summer approaches and students are looking for jobs, Joanna Braley with the Foreign Exchange explains how their organization can help to, em to employ our youth through the summer. Joanna, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you. So tell us a little bit about Foreign Exchange, FXC. Okay, Foreign Exchange is a career coach career coaching service that I started. So I work with high school students and teach them how to interview, how to network, and how to go about the application process when seeking employment. How about building a resume as yes, well? Yes, as well. Building okay. a resume, working on your cover letter, everything that it entails when you're looking for employment, even developing skills before you start to look for employment. So maybe you're doing informational in interviews, you might be doing a little bit of job shadowing, things of that nature. And so share some tips with the students who may be seeking their first, say, summer job. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about seeking your first summer job is that you have a wealth of options. So one thing that I always tell students is consider what you are interested in and what your long-term career goal is or what you think it might be. So for example, if you are interested in accounting, you might opt to work as a cashier somewhere because you're handling money, you are handle dealing with transactions, and so you're getting the basic feel of it and you're also interacting with customers. And then as you grow and you build, you'll learn how you'll use those skills in accounting later. Right. Mm -hmm. And so how would one benefit from your services versus what the guidance counselors do within the schools? Okay, that's a great question. One thing is that I say always use your guidance counselors because they have their pulse on things that are happening. But one thing is that they work more so in getting you ready for college and they might talk to you about career exploration. But in my experience, I have not seen where they are coaching you and teaching you how to interview, how to network, how to build upon those skills. And also I work one-on-one -on -one with my students. So you're not, in a, you're not running a race with everyone else and right. so that's the big benefit right because I think sometimes um, as a guidance counselor they have uh, so many uh, mm -hmm. kids that they're looking at and and trying to send them in so many directions mm -hmm. it's just not real a, a real focus you can focus on them a little bit more correctly so uh, what opportunities do you do you currently have for students okay. Currently, I have two opportunities for students, one with the City of Hardyville and the Planning Department. It's an internship, and it is paid. It pays $8 an hour. It's Monday through Thursday, so ranging about 28, maybe 30 hours a week. And it's for rising juniors and seniors. You mm -hmm. must live in Hardyville, mm -hmm. and you must attend a school within Jasper County. The other opportunity is an internship with the Morris Center for Low Country Heritage. Mm -hmm. This one is unpaid, but it's still a great opportunity because you're working directly with the director of programs and exhibits. It's a lot of hands-on experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I bet uh, there's a lot of things out there, as I'm thinking, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of organizations that really can benefit from some of these students, not only what the students can bring, but also then what the students can take away from that. Right. So that's that's really incredible when you when you when you think about it. So how can students use the summer uh, to get ahead? Students can use the summer to travel. We are often hearing this word diversity, diversity, diversity. We live in a great area because we see a lot of diversity, but having the opportunity to travel, get a jump start on the curriculum that's coming up. Um, I often do not tell students to tour colleges or anything like that because school is not in session, so you don't get the full benefit. Right. So right. yeah, so you want to study. If you were weak in an area like math last year, use this time to build on it and really get an opportunity to jumpstart it. I know you don't want to use your summer doing that, but an hour a day or 30 minutes a day working on improving, you know, building up your strengths will help you tremendously in the future school term. Yeah, good advice. And so uh, quickly, how did foreign exchange begin? Foreign exchange started, I was working with undergraduate students and I noticed that these undergraduate students were struggling with what can I do with my degree? How can I find employment? And I thought, man, if you are struggling with this, then I know our high school students are struggling with this. Right. And so as I was working with the population and also talking to some of my friends who were going through the same issue, that is how it was birthed. Well, <laughs> I, I think it's a, 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 a I think it's a great birth, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it sounds like an amazing uh, venture for you and, and very helpful for students, mm -hmm. and so we will have all your information on the screen, and we thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, and we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town. Mm -hmm.